Hey guys, now if you haven't noticed, my biceps and chest have been exploding recently, and that is thanks to the bodybuilding work I've been doing. You can't get super massive like me with squats, deadlifts and bench alone. So here I am, doing some dumbbell press, uh, bodybuilding style, by which I mean 15 reps to start and then as many as I can do afterwards with just 16 seconds in between each set and that's the way all my bodybuilding stuff is so all the way through this video you're watching a single set of each exercise but imagine a 60 second gap and then me doing that again and that's pretty much what what is actually uh, going on uh, it's pretty representative of, of the workout for me so this is all after my heavier stuff and I separate out the videos now so you may have seen the I call it the heavy free but really I include front squats and overhead press in that video but it's basically the heavy work and this is I call it the big three I don't know why I said the heavy three and this is just the bodybuilding stuff I'll do after doing my uh, more important powerlifting stuff yeah I said more important come at me bodybuilders you're not going to be able to touch me because I'm a powerlifter and you're a bodybuilder and as many YouTube videos have proved powerlifters always win um, so ab stuff this is how you do ab stuff you pretty much just sit on a thing and you push a thing down and up with your chest and that works your abs uh, if you sort of tense your abs the whole way through, your abs feel a bit tired. Um, so I'm just going to guess that I'm getting super hench from it. Thing is, I don't want massive abs. Uh, like, I guess a, a core is important though. You've got to have a strong core for squats. And like I was saying earlier, squats are way more important than any bodybuilding work. So it also feeds back into the actual important thing which are squats, bench press and deadlift. Leg curl. Who doesn't love a bit of leg curl? Especially when the machine feels incredibly awkward, your bum keeps shifting off the back of the seat, you don't know if you're doing it properly, uh, the weight might be a bit too much, it might not, you might just be a wimp. You gotta love all of that. You gotta love all of that questioning that goes on inside your head. And then we come to something far more simple because it's simply pushing a weight up and then back down and then up again. I can, I'm pretty good at that because bench press. Uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to pretend I'm the best in the world. But look at that guy behind me lifting up a dumbbell that's smaller than my dumbbell. And I'm pressing my dumbbell. And we all know pressing's harder than just pulling. So I'm, I'm kind of amazing actually if you think about it. People in the background squatting. I like looking at the people in the background to be honest. These people in the background squatting were hitting uh, at least quarter depth. So you got to give them credit for that. After incline dumbbell press is face pull. And this is something that I usually don't get time for. But I had time on this day. So sure let's take a cable and pull it towards my face once again this is another exercise I don't know if it actually does anything for me uh, I honestly don't know if I'm getting anything out of this one but hey there was a really rude guy as well who I walked away from the weight the, the cable about three or four literally three or four feet and uh, and then he tries to get on the cable I walk back and I tell him, hey dude, uh, I'm, I'm on this. And then he pretty much acts as though I'm the rudest guy in the world. And he's an older man, so I'm pretty sure, sure his opinion was, who is this young punk, all young people are rude, this guy is obviously being rude to me. And so he, he starts looking at this other guy who he obviously knew, and going, ksh, a ksh. And I just ask him, hey dude, uh, did I do something rude or was I in any way offensive to you I, I, I didn't mean to be and he said no I said well very, very clearly you think that I was so what's up and he said no no nothing and then he turns to his friend and once again 
Okay. So some people are cowards, even old people. Remember, old people aren't necessarily wise because they're old. They can also still be assholes. Assholes have to grow up at some point, and they don't all kill themselves. So you can you have uh, old assholes. We all just have to remember this as a fact. Hopefully you've been watching me just do some random stuff whilst I've been ranting about an old man who was rude to me. Um, the, I, I put the text on the screen for a reason, to give you a chance to actually see what I'm doing without me having to point it out. Hopefully you're all literate. If you're not, maybe stop watching YouTube videos and go learn to read. I'm looking at myself and I know I've gained a bit of fat. So, no comments about that, please, from my four viewers, who, I'm, who I know personally. And so, if you were to comment on it, I'd be sort of offended even more than you could actually imagine. But, yeah, it's definitely happened. And I'm not as bothered as maybe I would have been before, especially knowing that I'm going to do this meet maybe do another short cycle after the meet and I'll just cut and so screw it whatever you know machine ab crunch as the last thing of the week and no it's not this was machine ab crunch the second there are three machine ab crunches so we've got me talking for even longer after machine ab crunch I went on to walk home and that was fun and then I came in the next day to do pause deadlifts, overhead press, and then this, leg press. Leg press, for some reason, suddenly got awful. Uh, like, genuinely awful. I, I don't know, 35 kilos doesn't seem like a lot, does it? Especially considering what people do on the leg press. But it killed me. Like, really, really, really killed me for five sets of 15. And, hey, I'm not ashamed. I'm not proud of it, but I'm not ashamed of it. And that's, that's the thing. I decided to do barbell curl instead of incline dumbbell curl. Because I just got a bit sick of incline dumbbell curl, to be honest. And uh, I wasn't getting the full range of movement anyway. So I thought, screw it, let's see what I can get out of this. The old barbell. And, I don't know. I felt, I felt it was on my my arms were a bit more t fatigued than maybe they would have been otherwise but you can't say for sure and as long as it does something then it was worth it then we got weighted knee raise and this was the last thing uh, after this I did some high intensity cardio on the cycling but this was pretty much it for the bodybuilding stuff so I got a lot in there I hope you enjoyed the video and once again, stay tuned for more of me lifting and maybe eating. Punches and bunches, punches is thrown until you're frontless.